welcome again. Shiva Rajaya here from vitalcoaching.com. We are talking about chakras again, and um, the topic for this video is chakra activation techniques. Can you see that? Ah, perfect. Yeah, okay. So, chakra activation techniques, we have, um, I mean, uh, techniques that I use to activate my chakras, I have probably like 12, 15, 20 of them, and probably many more. So I'm just going to give you an overview about what you can use in terms of techniques and then we will go through each chakra with the very, very specific techniques that you can use for these specific chakras. But first I want to give you an overview so that you realize that there are lots of techniques that you can use to activate those specific chakras. And um, the first, uh, the first uh, technique that you have is using the name of the chakra. Here you have a list of, of words, we will come back to that again in a later video, but it goes Sahasrara, Ajana, Vishuddha, Annahata, Manipura, Svadhisthana, Muladhara. Each word represents one of the chakras. So that's one way of invoking the, uh, the, the chakras. Then you have uh, attention. For instance, if I want to activate my third eye, I can focus on my third eye. Breathe, breathe, breathe through that area. You know, really give the attention to that area. So attention. And you have sound. Uh, for instance, you can use a, a fork a tuner. What do you call that? Fork, yeah. Mm. And uh, you, you put it on your third eye and it's going to activate really that area. So using sound is a very powerful way of, of activating that. Then you have uh, colors, right? Each color has a different, uh, each chakra has a different color. And you can also use the kind of symbols that I'm using. Like I'm putting some red dots on my chakras. This activates uh, the chakras. You can massage your, your, your chakras. For instance, you can go on the heart and pressure, make some dots or do some tapping on it. So those are physical touch um, uh, techniques. Then you have substances that you can use. Like for instance, you can use some oils that you are going to put on your chakra and then gently massage. So there is some substance that really goes into this area. Uh, then I use also what I call activation codes. So those are other Sanskrit words that have certain qualities that are going to refer a little bit more to that chakra. For instance, if, um, if uh, an activation code for the, the crown chakra would be the word Darimana, which means authority. Don't worry about it now, we will come back to it later. But it means that certain code words or certain qualities are going to activate certain chakras more than others. Uh, then you have the symbols, you know, for instance, in the back there, you see that there is this beautiful mandala with this guy meditating. Each chakra has a different, um, a different symbol. Um, then you have the possibility of creating an energy exchange also with, uh, with another person. And uh, for instance, if you go to New Zealand, you will see that the Maoris, uh, the, the natives there, are greeting each other by putting their third eye against each other. So they breathe and they circulate energy by doing that. Um, there is, um, you know, there are also the mudras or postures that you can use. For instance, if I, if I go like that, this is really an activation technique for my heart. And this is going to really uh, trigger a whole flow of openness in the, in the heart area. And then you have also bijas. So bijas are like syllables in Sanskrit or letters, and you can use uh, those syllables to activate the chakras as well. And then there is action that you can take. Like for instance, um, you can uh, you know, perform really compassionate action and, and help a child or a, an elderly. And by doing that, you are also activating the, the, the heart, the compassion uh, chakra, you're activating the love. So there is a lot to say and to, uh, you know, to do around these chakras with, with, uh, that has to do with uh, uh, use of, of them with awareness and, uh, and consciousness. It's such a big mystery and we are just, you know, maybe in the beginning of our evolution as a human race where we are starting to tap really, really into our energy systems from a more conscious place. And... Um, yeah, there is much more to say, but I'll stop for, for now. We are going to dive now into the, the first um, practice, which will be with uh, third eye activation. Have fun. I'll see you soon again. Bye-bye.